वेलकम आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस लेक्चर इन द कोर्स संधि इन पाणिनियन ग्रामर वी कंटिन्यू टू स्टडी अच संधि दट इज वॉवल संधि वी सेट दैट अच संधि कैन बी क्लासिफाइड अंडर टू हेड्स एक स्थानिक एकादेश वन स्थानी एंड वन सब्स्टिट्यूट एक स्थानी एक आदेश वन सब्स्टिट्यूंद वन सब्स्टिट्यूट वन सब्स्टिट्यूट कमिंग इन प्लेस ऑफ वन सब्स्टिट्यूंद वन सब्स्टिट्यूट रिप्लेसिंग वन सब्स्टिट्यूंद that is the first type of atsandhi and the second type of atsandhi is dvisthanika ekadesha where we have one substitute replacing two substituents one substitute in place of two substituents we shall study this second type of atsandhi little later right now we have concentrated on our study of this ekasthanika ekadesha we have already studied the first instance of ekasthanika ekadesha namely ikoyanachi sutra which prescribes the sandhi called yan sandhi we studied this sandhi in detail we looked at the sutra and its meaning we also looked at the uddeshya vidheya bhava by the application of anudit savarnasya chapratyaya then we looked at the criterion for selection of the substitute then we looked at individual examples we also looked at the discussion points including the interrelation of yan sandhi and the accent rules and finally we also studied the sthanivad bhava that is discussed in the paninian grammatical tradition while discussing the at sandhi we also observed that there is one small gap in the treatment of yan sandhi which was observed by none other than the earliest commentators on panini and a solution was suggested and then the desired forms were generated and justified now it is time to move ahead and look at the second instance and study in detail this second instance of ekasthanika ekadesha and so this ekasthanika ekadesha is ayavayav sandhi to put the ekasthanika ekadesha in the diagrammatical form we have been studying this diagram for some time now which says that you have a plus b both of them in samhita mode in extreme proximity and in this situation a is substituted by c a is the sthani b is the right hand environment and in this environment a is substituted by c the input is a plus b and the output is c plus b this is the substitute this is the substituent one substitute in place of one substituent this is what is ekasthanika ekadesha this ekasthanika ekadesha is stated in the ashtadhyayi in the section 6172 onwards up to 6183 and as we said earlier we have studied in detail the first instance of this ekasthanika ekadesha 
namely yan sandhi stated by the sutra eko yanachi now we plan to study the second instance of this ekasthanika ekadesha namely the ayavayav sandhi ayavayav sandhi this ayavayav sandhi is stated by the sutra echo yavayavaha 6178 and i have already broken the sutra for you into two components the first one is echo and the second one is ayavayavaha the sandhi of these two can be done and the sutra is in fact read in the text of the ashtadhyayi as echo yavayavaha and this sandhi and this sutra we shall study later on when we study the dvisthanika ekadesha namely engah padantadati this sutra let us come back to echo yavayavaha there are two padas echo and ayavayavaha echo is echaha 61 of h what it means is in place of h and ayavayavaha is 1/3 of a yava yav h is a pratyahara formed by the sutra 4 and 5 it begins with a and ends in ouch so ch so h pratyahara covers sutra 4 and 4 5 and these sounds a o these are stated in sutra number 4 and i and o stated in sutra number 5 ayavayav consists of four elements ay av ay and av we also have studied a methodology to study the interpretation of the panini sutras how the meaning of the sutra is made so there are some words that are continued from the previous sutra in this case achi is continued achi is 7 one of ach ach meaning vowel covering the first five sutras in the pratyahara sutra ach stands for a vowel achi stands for immediately before a vowel this word achi is continued from the sutra eko yanachi 6177 the other word that continues in this particular sutra is samhitayam which is 71 of samhita and so samhitayam means when in the samhita mode when in extreme proximity or close proximity which means that when two sounds are uttered in extreme proximity the right hand sound is ach and the sound that appears immediately before this ach is nothing but h and then this sutra applies and generates the output in the form of ay av ay and av so the meaning of this sutra in a nutshell is this when in extreme proximity immediately before any vowel that is ach h that is a o i n o h is substituted by ay av ay and av this is the meaning of this particular sutra to put it in the form of an equation we can say that if we have h plus ach plus sign indicates that these two sounds are uttered in close proximity so h is immediately followed by ach to put it in other words h comes immediately before ach in the samhita mode and then h is substituted by aya av aya and av 
So the input is H plus H and the output is A yava yava plus H. Input is H plus H and output is I av I av plus H. Now we note that in the input we have H, H stands for 4 vowels A, O, I and O and the output also has 4 substitutes I, av, I and av. So there are 4 substituents in the form of H and 4 substitutes in the form of I, av, I, av. So we can say that there is this principle of correspondence that comes into play. In Sanskrit it is called Yathasankhya Nyaya stated by the Sutra Yathasankhya Anudesha Samanam which says that the elements described in two sets if they are equal in number then they are mutually related by correspondence which means that the first member of the first set is related to the first member of the second set and so on and so forth. In this case H is a set consisting of set consisting of four vowels being the substituents sthani and there are four elements which are stated as the substitutes which are stated as adesha. So first element amongst the substituents is related with the first element amongst the substitutes A with aya, O with ava, I with aya and au with ava. This is what this principle of correspondence or kyathasankhya nyaya says. So we have H being the substituent sthani 4 in number and ayavayava the substitute or adesha 4 in number. And so we have A plus H as the input in the Samhita mode and 6178 would apply and A would be substituted by aya and the output would be aya plus H. Similarly O plus H being uttered in close proximity Samhita and so 6178 applies and O is substituted by AVA and the output is AVA plus H. I plus H is the input and then they are uttered in close proximity and then 6178 applies and I is substituted by AYA and the output is I plus H. Similarly, O plus H and they are uttered in close proximity and so 6178 applies and O is substituted by AV and the output is AV plus H. This is how Yathasankhya Nyaya would allow us to interpret this sutra. Now we introduce the concepts of Uddeshya and Vidhaya in this sutra. Through the application of the sutra 1169 namely Anudit Savarnasya Chapratyayaha. In this case we have Uddeshya in the form of H as well as H. We already know what H is and what H is. H is 4 vowels, H is all vowels. And we know that the Vidhaya is Ayavayav. This is stated only by this particular Sutra 6178. Now by the application of 1169, we would say that the Uddeshya namely H and H they represent their homogeneous sounds. Let us look at Anudit Savarnasya Chapratyayaha 
वंस अगेन इन सम डिटेल अनुदित सवर्ण से चा प्रत्यय इज वन वन सिक्सटी नाइन वॉट इट मीन्स इज अविधीयम अण उदित सवर्ण से सौज्ञा सै अण एंड उदित विच आर नॉट विधेय स्टैंड फॉर देअर होमोजीनियस साउंड्स दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर सूत्र what it means is that an and udit which are uddeshya they stand for their homogeneous sounds so an which is stated in 1169 is a pratyahara that covers the first six sutras ayun ruluk eom ay auch hayavarat and lan sutras 1 to 6 and we already have noted that only in this particular sutra the pratyahara an covers the sixth six sutras everywhere else the pratyahara an covers only the first sutra what is udit udit is an element which has an ut namely u as it as a marker so ku is udit chu is udit etc ku is udit because ku consists of k consonant plus u which is a marker ut u stands for short u which is also mentioned as ut so ku is a udit chu is an udit and so on now these sounds stated in the 14 sutras stand for their homogeneous sounds or savarna sounds this is what is the meaning of 1169 applying this sutra in 6178 we note that h which is an uddeshya is part of an and so it represents the respective savarna sounds the respective homogeneous sounds ayavayav is a vidheya and does not represent the respective savarna or homogeneous sounds once again we have ach being the right hand side environment and this is an uddeshya ach is part of an and so it represents the respective savarna the respective savarna homogeneous sounds so if we revisit 6178 after applying 1169 anudit savarnasya cha pratyaya we can rewrite the rule h o y a v a y a v a in this particular fashion h a o i a u they don't have a short variety so they have six dirgha and six pluta varieties so 4 into 12 48 sounds and we have also seen that the pluta sounds do not undergo the sandhi operations so we omit the 24 varieties of pluta of these sounds so we have 24 remaining varieties of h similarly we have also seen that ach stands for 132 sounds a e u and ru these four sounds they have rasva dirgha and pulita into udatta anudatta and svarita into anunasika and ananunasika that is 18 varieties each 18 into 472 then we have lu which does not have a long variety so we have 12 varieties of lu and then a o i o do not have the short varieties so they have only dirgha and pluta varieties of sounds which is 48 sounds so 60 plus 72 that makes it 
Now we remove six pluta varieties of each. That means 54 sounds, which means that 132 minus 54, that is 78 sounds, they act as the right hand side environment. So we can now rewrite the equation related to 6178, where we say that H, 24 in number, plus H, 78 in number and those many combinations. H plus H uttered in extreme proximity and the output generated is Ayavayav plus H after the application of 6178. The output is only this I, av, I and av being the substitute plus the right hand side environment H 78 varieties. This is how we can rewrite HO Yavayavaha. Now the question is if you have 24 varieties of substituents and 4 substitutes obviously you cannot apply the principle of correspondence yathasankhyanyaya over here. So then what is the criterion for selection of the substitute? The criterion for selection of substitute namely antaratamya or proximity is the place of articulation ucharana sthana within the oral cavity. So now if we study the ucharana sthanas of the respective substituents and the substitutes we come across these following matching pairs. A the place of articulation of A is kanthatalu as described in Paniniya Shiksha and the phonetic description of the place of articulation of Aya is also Kanthatalu. O is described as Kanthoshtha, O as a substituent and amongst the four Av is also described to have Kanthoshtha as its place of articulation. I is described to have the place of articulation in the form of Kanthatalu and I also is described to have the place of articulation in the form of Kanthatalu. And finally, Au has got Kanthoshtha as its place of articulation and Av also has got Kanthoshtha as the place of articulation. So, A, O, I, Au, the 20 four varieties of these vowels have got similarities, have got matches with the place of articulation in the form of I, Av, I and Av. Based on this now the substitute is selected. Six varieties of A and they have I as the substitute. Six varieties of O and the substitute is Av. 6 varieties of I and the substitute is Aya, 6 varieties of Au and the substitute is Av. Now at this point we need to study the interrelation between two sutras, Eko Yanachi and Echo Yavayavaha. Eko Yanachi is 6177 and Echo Yavayavaha is 6178. We need to also understand the structure of A, O, I and O. A, O, I and O, they are considered to be Dirgha Swaras and also Sanyukta Swaras. They are made up of two vowels. A is made up of A followed by E. O is made up of A followed by U. I is made up of A followed by E and O is made up of A followed by U. If we now replace A, O, I, O with this information and rewrite the rule, we will get the following situation. So now we have A plus H which eventually is A plus E plus H in Samhita mode. O plus H eventually means A plus U plus H. 
आई प्लस एच इज इक्वल टू आ प्लस ई प्लस एच औ प्लस एच इज इक्वल टू आ प्लस ऊ प्लस एच वॉट इज हैपनिंग ओवर हियर इज दैट इवन दो वी आर अप्लाइंग सिक्स वन सेवेंटी एट एक्चुअली इट इज ओनली सिक्स वन सेवेंटी सेवन नेमली इको यणची विच इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग प्लेस सो वी हैव ई प्लस एच ऊ प्लस एच E plus H and U plus H. This is what is happening, and we are substituting E by Y and U by V in all these four cases. Whereas this first member of the conjunct vowel remains intact. So we have A plus H and six one seventy eight applies, and the output is. I plus H, so this A uh, remains as it is. E gets substituted by Y, uh, and so we have I uh, plus H as the output. When we have O followed by H in close proximity in the Samhita mode, it is U is followed by H, and so this U is getting replaced by the substitute V. and so we are getting the output in the form of form of av plus h similarly we have i plus h which means a plus e once again e is getting substituted by y and so we have the output i plus h and finally av which is made up of a plus u and so u is getting substituted by v and the output is a plus h this is how the interrelation between 6177 ekoyanchi and hoyavai avaha can be explained to summarize we studied how 6178 is interpreted in the tradition of the paninian grammar this included the application of 1169 and the interpretation and the interrelation of 6177 and 6178 it is clear that in 6178 we are applying 6177 internally now we study the individual examples we study this in the next lecture thank you for your attention